morning. It's William again. It's day two of my 90 day challenge. So today I decided to pick a topic about people who ask how and people who ask why and compare the two. Now, people who ask how all the time. They don't actually use their own intelligence to think. They actually borrow the idea from someone else and state it's true. They agree with it without, you know, it's very easy to do that. It's very easy to just accept something that's said, you know. We've done it our, well, most of our lives, especially when we were kids, when we were in school. We always had to do what the teacher said. We always had to believe whatever the book said, you know. But. We never really were taught to, you know, believe in our own thoughts. We never thought to ask why things are done instead. Now, when you ask why, that means you're inquiring on your own. You're trying to find your own answers instead of borrowing them from someone else. The people who do that, they're the most successful people in history. Albert Einstein, um, did he follow the school rules? No. In school, he was, you know, considered a dumb kid. But look what he grew up to be. He didn't follow what the teacher said, you know. He used his own Im imagination and his own intelligence to do that. So, in fact, if you ask yourself why things happen, you can only imagine things. Nothing else comes up in your head of, of how it was done because whatever you're thinking of, you know, whatever your answer might be right now, it's probably something that you've heard or something that you, you know, sought from somewhere else. But if you asked why, then you have no choice but to think of your own ideas. You have no choice but to, you know, use your imagination and let it go crazy. People who invent things. I'm pretty sure they always use their imagination first and ask why things were needed. I mean, if the cavemen, you know, if they didn't use their imagination to create the wheel, I don't think we would have gotten that far. Yeah, this iPhone I'm using right now, someone thought of it, you know. The whole concept of telephones in the first place, I don't think that was borrowed from anyone else either. So, for all the how people out there, how about try something different this time around and see what happens. You know, it's just an experiment. You could do it for a couple days. Stop asking, you know, ask less of the how questions, more of the why questions. It's just to see how your mindset changes. It's actually quite fun. You should try it. You know? So, yeah, thanks for listening. Hope you got something about what I said today. And you know, subscribe below and have an awesome day. Later.